We're taking you next to the Ashanti region where traders at the new KJTM market have given managers of the facility a two-week ultimatum to address challenges causing an upsurge in electricity bills. The over 7,000 stores depend on a single metering system. Charges are billed amongst the traders irrespective of consumption. The traders are demanding separate meters to manage their individual power consumption. Here's more. The traders lament the high cost of electricity bills over the months. They have complained to the authorities without any solutions. Some of them say their shops are locked up when they fail to pay the bills on time. The bills are too high and we cannot pay. Every shop should have its meter. Even those on the tabletops in this market pay an amount. I don't even use electricity. The bills are very high. Why are the shops closed when we owe electricity bills instead of disconnecting the source? They should address our situation, else we will demonstrate. Nana Kusi Prempe speaks for the traders. We are calling on the authorities because we, the leadership, have already taken a step. We've gone to ECG. They said it is feasible that individual shops can get meter. So we don't know the reason why either the board or management have not given the approval for the company to provide us individual meters because the, the cost of electricity is very high in the market. Also, we talk about uh, service charges. The service charges comprises of garbage, uh, cleaning, security, and uh, fumigation. Of all the companies, the charges that they are charging with the traders are very high. And we were not part of the negotiation team that contracted these companies to come and give their, their rendering service to us. The traders are also raising concerns with flooding, roof leakages, choke drains and non-functional elevators at the market. Nana Prempe says the lack of public address system at the market has affected effective communication between management and traders. We, we want the city authorities to let us know what the contractor is doing within the next uh, second phase because it is this same contractor who constructed KJTR. He did a shoddy work. That's why we are calling on the city authorities that with regards to the second phase, if it is this same contractor who is going to work on the second phase, authorities, those concerned, should look into the activities of the contractor. For what we are experiencing here is an eyesore. And if we have our way, and just as I've told you, in the coming days, people are going to hear from us. Managing Director of the Kijitia City Markets Limited, Kofi Dufour, says the plight of the traders will soon be addressed. Some have been dirty. As we speak now, the lifts are working. The instructors are working. They are functional. When the fumes have accumulated over the place, you need to turn on the instructor. That's why the instructor is there. You turn it on, it takes away the fumes, and everybody is okay. Everybody has acknowledged. But provisions were made for each shop to have its own meter. The authorities could not get us 7,000 meters I said, well, you and I know that in this country, if you're looking for one meter for your house, you know what you go through. And we've promised them. We are putting our credibility on the line. By the end of April, the contract would have been signed. And whoever is supposed to start work will begin to work. Reporting for Joy News, Imanolosei Kumasi.